Right on EJ, two of the show. The Howard Stern Show. All right. Don't worry about it. Tonight on E-Day 2 of the Stuck on You contest, uh, they worked months on this thing, putting it together. There was so much tape. Tonight's episode shows Jeff the Drunk completely loaded, passed out in the middle of the street. Jenny's attached to him at the wrist. He completely breaks our cameraman Isaac down. Isaac quits covering Jeff because Jeff is berating him and spitting on him. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Stuck on You, Day 2. And uh, Isaac is a true professional, so it takes a lot. Yeah, to get to him. Right. Jessica Hahn's on the phone wants to say something. Then Jeff the Vomit guy's going to come in here with some chick who wants to vomit on him. Yeah, I was thinking about Jessica the other day. I said, we haven't <laughs> heard from her in a while. Yes, Jessica. Hi, baby. Hey. How you doing? All right. Hey, you know, Howard, I was thinking about this um, FCC thing. And, I mean, I'd be willing to go on, like, Larry King and stuff and, and talk about it. But why isn't the media worried? Because they're all affected. Don't they realize this? Well, they think that it's not going to happen to them. But it will. See, Jessica's a sweet girl, and, and Jessica, evidently, Larry King calls you all the time, right? Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? I wonder what's oh, up with that. I just, you know, he's been, um, for like the last year or so, his people call and say, do I want to show up and just talk? And I usually go about what, you know? But this would be worth talking about, the FCC, the and while I love Jessica, I don't know that Jessica Hahn defending me on Larry King is... Effective. Effective. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's uh, yeah, sweet, I was but... in the ladies' room just now, and I was thinking about, you know, the people who are defending us so far, and I said, you know, we need, like, a Harvard professor. <laughs> yeah, we need somebody who's a really good debater, and yeah. who understands the issue. Yeah, and... who can really put it into yeah. political well, and really historical context. This issue? Oh, I do. No, I'm talking about the rules and stuff. I, I do. You do? You know all the FCC rules? Sure. Because don't I know exactly what's going on. I know that they they have decided to create a vague explanation of what they want. It's a trap. It's exactly. never been challenged by the courts because no broadcast... We, we try to challenge it. When I say we, this company that I work for, Viacom Infinity, they try to challenge it. And the government said, we will not... All of a sudden, they don't even say it. Mel was trying to buy three radio stations, I think, at the time. Suddenly, the paperwork was buried. Ooh, so he calls up. He goes, what's going on? Nothing. We're processing the paper. Now, this guy's bought a million radio stations already. He knows when things are being slowed down. It's taking years. The people he's going to buy the station from are thinking of killing the deal because they can't get their money. And all of a sudden, our government starts working against you. So Mel had to do what he had to do. He paid off the fines in some sort of way that said we weren't really paying the fines. We were making a contribution. Right, some kind of a deal. Yeah, but what happened was he was pressured into paying them because he was going to go to court to hear if we had really done anything indecent. And he said as a broadcaster, I would never put anything indecent on my air. I don't think this is indecent. Let's find out from a court, which is the only way you can settle these things. That's how the seven dirty words came about. Mm -hmm. So our government, whether you want to believe this or not, and I know there's some wonderful people out there who want to be naive about this stuff and think that this kind of crap doesn't go on. Uh, our government officials, our unelected government officials, meaning the FCC, went ahead and put pressure. Now, when a woman from something called Parent Television Association said, which is nothing, it's a woman who watches TV, gets on TV... And then says, well, he's breaking the laws by, set up by the FCC. There is no law set up and by the FCC. And the FCC doesn't get to set up laws. The FCC never had the right, except for the seven dirty words, F, S, and the C word or whatever they are. It's the only time they have the right to say someone has violated the law. Other than that, there's no law. So the, this is a sham. The FCC is a government office that literally was about to close down. There's no more regulatory commission needed. And this has made them relevant. Don't you see what's going on? It's irrelevant people trying to find an issue to be relevant. It's all a scam. And that's what I would say on these shows. But for someone to have the intellectual capacity, understand this, and also have the ability to get on these shows and be calm and cool and collected. Not screaming like man can. Is, it's very difficult to find spokesmen. Now you're saying, Howard, why don't you do it? If I went on all these shows and did it, it would make absolutely zero difference. Most people aren't intelligent even enough now to understand what I'm talking about. Well, they've about. already had their minds made up. It's like they, don't, like, they don't have the intellectual ability to understand what you're talking about. Right. That's why 
I'd rather have Jeff the Vomit Guy in here now. And that is what everyone understands. I know what the people want. I know what the people appreciate. And I'm about to go give it to them. So, Jessica, yes, I love you. And if you want to go on Larry King, by all means, go ahead, because I'd love to play those clips on the air. <laughs> and, I, and I love you very much. I love you, too. All right. That's the beautiful Jessica Hahn. Now, let's get to what the people want while we're still on the air. Because one guy had the balls to call in here and say, this is the best thing ever happened to you. And I said to him, who said that? Yeah, I'm one of the listeners. Because oh. this is the best thing. I said, what, being thrown off six stations and probably within a month. I, I said, well, what would be a better thing is if they took me off the air completely in your <laughs> yeah, logic. Yeah. The more, the better. Yeah, let's see. If I get off all the stations, I'll really benefit. <laughs> all right, let's give the people what they want. I'm about to introduce you to two people. One is a man who likes to be vomited on. Yes. And another one who likes to vomit on men. Really? You finally found someone like this? Well, she doesn't like to vomit on men, but she's so sick of hearing this guy whine on the air, she said, I'll come in and throw up on that idiot. Ah. Your name, sir, is Jeff, Jeff, the, Jeff vomit the Vomit guy. guy. Yes. America's number one. A metaphile. i got to tell you something. I think out of all the freaks that have been on this show, uh, now I've been doing this show 20-something years, i got to tell you something. You are the most disturbing. Yeah. You... He's also the most committed. He's never gotten off his... De dedicated. Yeah. Dedicated. And he's the most smelly. He reeks today. Uh, he reeks. Why do you uh, reek? Do you, have you been vomited on recently? No, no, no. Actually, my clothes are a bit fresh in a, in a duffel bag. I, I, I put on something that's more conforming for the, you know, for the, the, the day's events. Uh, you, were a, you, were, on... you were a postal worker, is that uh, right? Yeah, I was. Yeah, do I, I have through... your history right? I'm trying to yes, remember. Yes, yes, that's right. You yes. were a postal worker, and you, they fired you, or you got off on a disability? I got off on a disability. I fired myself. They right. Fired. What was they the disability fired. again? I'm forgetting. I claimed that uh, it was the hours I worked were too stressful, and I couldn't, I couldn't hack it. I right. just, I they didn't want to hack that? it. They didn't fire me. Do they pay you? Uh, no, they didn't. They didn't pay. I, oh, I wasn't quit. there long enough. You I quit. wasn't there long you quit. enough. Quit. Right? Yeah, no. I quit. I quit, and I got. I went on disability in the in the mid at late eighties, nineteen eighty. I wasn't awarded forever? it right away because the government felt I was healthy enough and physically capable enough to, to working. I had to go through appeals and hire a. a but you lawyer. got disability because they think you're crazy. Uh, I well, I I went out of my way to convince them that I'm not. Uh, I'm um, um. How much not, a month do you get? About uh, $680, uh, $700. It's Is that fine. what you live on? Yes, that's basically month to month what I live on. And by today's standards, that's not And you get this the rest of your life? Uh, yes, yes, in fact, yes, uh, yes, I would. Uh, the only way it would, God. It, 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 it would ever change is if I actually got a life for myself and went back to work or had monies exceeding in the bank account. And you live with that, your parents, is No, that my, mother, my mother is deceased. When did that happen? That happened a year, about a year, a year ago. She, unfortunately, she died. Sorry of, to hear that. Uh, Embarrassment? Uh, she died of no, no, she, no, she, no, she, she died basically of, uh, she had a blood disorder for, for many years. And Have she, you buried her yet, or is she still living with you? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? So she's buried in, uh, in Long Island. Was she and embarrassed? Was she embarrassed by the fact that you uh, like to be vomited nobody on? Nobody likes my. No, I'm very uh, underappreciated. Nobody uh, appreciates my. Right, so you live with my, your dad now, is yes, that correct? Uh -huh, my, now I remember. I think it was like a year ago or two years ago. The police had to be called in because someone, some of the neighbors, had complained that you were yelling and screaming and abusing your parents. You know, you know uh, my father never. We never really found out who did who did that because uh, my father never made any complaints. And the neighbors in our small building that we live in. They claim none of them complained. So, it's so when the police came, you claimed that you were yelling at the TV set. Right. right. Uh, I was basically. Uh, I don't. Not. I did not argue with my parents. I. I get very upset about team sports, losing lottery tickets, and I take out my frustration on on on. Uh, on the TV a lot of the time. So you yell at the television yeah, the when you buy the lottery ticket every month? Yeah, uh, every day. Every day. Every day. Every day uh, six, seven hundred. You know, losers buy lottery tickets. You know why? Because they think they're going to get rich. They normally don't. On seven hundred dollars a month, you think you'd save every penny that you you get? Yeah, I'm pretty stu. I'm pretty stupid. I How think. much money do you spend on lottery tickets a day? Uh, um, uh, a day? Yeah. I would say between twenty and forty dollars a day. You gotta be kidding you me! Know, I'm, I'm not actually kidding glad you. he's given the money back to the state. How do you I, do I that? I support the, I said the state uh, college. So who, how do you get. pay your bills? 
I well, I have a cell. I pay my cell phone bill. I, I being I live at home, I live relatively rent free. I, right. You know, my father doesn't charge me much rent, and uh, I pay for my own. Your father, your father charges you no rent. Uh, he charge right. Let's be honest. He doesn't charge me. Rent. Okay. I what? live, I live rent. Have... I live rent free most of my life, except uh, in the early '90s when I made a, an attempt to take an apartment on my own in Bensonhurst. Um, a lady friend of mine moved in with me. We had a year lease. She left me right away. I was left with the apartment for for a year. It was, it was a, a disaster. It was a disaster. Right. That was uh, 14 years ago, actually, 14 years ago. Did right. he have brothers and sisters? No brothers, no sisters. That poor family. So you, so you are here to say that you did not abuse your parents. Um, no, I, that's that's absolutely right. I did not. And the police had to take you away anyway. Right. They, they get mis misnomers from unidentifiable sources that uh, I don't know where All they right. got. A lot of people are sickened by you. They don't like the sound of your voice. They don't like your fetish where you are vomited on by women. You know women. what I'm thinking? Maybe his parents were, were smart. They saw what their first child mm. came out to be. Yeah, they didn't want anybody else. I'm just, uh, I'm, I guess I'm a misfit. Uh, you like to be nude when the women vomit on you? Um, no, no. Do you plan on being nude today? Uh, no, no, no. I don't really? plan on being. I don't. I don't. I don't plan on being nude. No, no. no. Right. And you say this fetish of yours being vomited yeah. on started when, as a child, yeah, early age, you, that, that you saw your cousin vomit. Yes, that's right. A girl, cousin Susan. Yes. Yeah, and that turned you on. Uh, yeah. Well, yes, Con. You yes. started to fantasize that yes. you were below her with her vomiting on. But yeah, you. yeah, yes. Or right. in front of her, or watching her heave over a toilet. Uh, it doesn't always have to be being vomited. On. It's just the, the physical act of a voyeuristic watching someone throwing up gets get gets All right. me. Uh, All right. There's a woman on. in our audience. Named, yes. What is it, uh, Casey? Yeah. Why do you interrupt me on show? Uh, because he's got vomit poems today. He wants to read vomit poems. I don't. I don't care about that. Huh. You sicken me. Huh. Oh yeah. So well, very creepy, Howard. And you also go to the bathroom in the bathtub while you no, take a that, bath. Where did you hear that one? You told me that. Uh, I told I told you that one. Well, yeah, yeah. I told you. Number two. Uh, Is that true or false? No, false. <laughs> it's, it's false. It's false. <laughs> oh. Is that are you telling the truth now? Yeah, I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. Oh, yeah. lie. oh no, I'm not lying. No, that's not, that's, a, that's a false. What is a typical I, day for him? You do it. What I'm do you playing do lottery, all day? Um, buying lottery tickets, um, constantly thinking what's the next numbers that are going to be coming up, fantasizing about uh, women uh, puking. Okay. All right. That's do you want to have sex with women, or you want to just have them puke on? I, I, all these years, for 32 years, I, a sex seems to be secondary. I seem to get orgasm from, from uh, witnessing, watching them, all right. um, hearing them. Everyone is sick of you. Let me introduce yeah, you to the woman don't who. Like me. Jessica, you. This is no Jessica, who is, me. by the way, very beautiful. Very. Thank you. <laughs> You are a sexy girl. You were once a stripper, weren't you? I was. And how old are you? I'm 27. All right, 27 year old girl. You obviously are well built. Built. You you attracted to her, Jeff? I'm looking right at her. She looks. She looks. She looks um, good looking. You know, yeah. I would have to. In my mind, mindset, picture her, you know, um, 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 throwing up. In, uh, in Jessica, a... you're coming in to puke on Jeff Levy today because you're disgusted with him. Yes. Is that correct? I want to puke on him right now. Mm -hmm. I, I, like, I can't even hold it in. You even practiced on your own boyfriend. I did. So that you were sure that you could I... accomplish this. Yeah, well, I knew I could puke on command, but I didn't know if I'd be able to do it on a person. All so. right. It, it and... would be nice to one time meet some someone who doesn't have a boyfriend who just happens to have a, a puke well, desire. Well, that's not going to happen. Uh-uh. <laughs> Well, she's Don't get too into it, buddy. But you're lucky we got her. <laughs> <laughs> when is the last you time you were vomited on, Jeff? Uh, I, a few a few months ago. All right. How did that happen? I, I have to seek it out uh, going to uh, Dominatrix's... Uh, Dominatrix. Dominatrix. Dom yeah. Dominatrix, another form of prostitution, I would say. How much right. does that cost? Too much. Too much. It, it, it ruins... Dominatrix. You should hang out with Stuttering John with Pamela Anderson. chances Anderson's. at the lottery. It, uh, um, get a big lottery where maybe I'll, I'll paint the town red with my uh, going. What does it cost to have a woman vomit on you? At one particular place I know, $220 for about a 45, 50 minute. Uh, and, and where do you get that? Where do you get the two hundred twenty-five dollars? Uh, it comes out of my social security check, or it comes from uh, maybe a lottery win that I got in a, a day or so ahead of time. Uh, I try to plan it out, time it with the uh, coinciding with a uh, you know a two hundred fifty. Jessica, he just sickens you, and this is why you want to. He do really it. does sicken me. Okay. See, I'm trying to point out to America that this is a, a, a fetish. I'm not trying to sicken girl. I'm just saying that the uh, it's an erotic. Are you still a stripper? Yeah. Can, uh, no. Well, I, the last time I stripped was about. Six months ago. Okay. But I, I would like to say, you know, another fetish was the guy. Remember that guy in Australia who was like, or wherever it was, where he uh, had to cut the guy's penis off? Yes. Did the, Big you know? news story. Like, that's a fetish, too, but it doesn't make it right. Maybe I'm a sociopath, or maybe I'm just a freaky, kinky type of you guy. You have a boyfriend? 
I do, yes. Yes. You swing with him, it says here in the notes? No, no, no. Actually, I don't swing with him. I um, I think that was taken a little out of context. I bartended a swinging party. Oh, I see. Okay. So I worked a swinging party, which was very interesting. I had a great time there. And you're bisexual? I very much so am. You do girls and guys? Yes, I do. Oh. I, have, well, I have an enormously large tongue, so women are very... Let you know, me see your tongue. To stick it out so I can see. Well, that is a little... Oh, that's pretty... That is, uh, that's yeah. a pretty um, All right. Erotic. Now, what are you going to wear when you vomit on Jeff, so we know? I'm wearing what I'm wearing right now. That's it? Yep. Well, I'm wearing the American flag. <laughs> That, that, then I find that very that makes it even easier for me. <laughs> I wish you were in a bikini or something when you vomit. Well, you know, I'm a little self-conscious of my body. Right. I lost about 70 pounds about three years ago. My boobs are really saggy. I'm just not happy. Leave your clothes on. Yeah. Oh, it tells you. Okay, I'll leave my clothes on. I'm not... How did a stripper uh, gain 70 pounds? And I was actually overweight when I was stripping. Wow. And I made good money. Oh, uh, I see. a little bit more buxom. I appeared to the minorities. Well, you look good now. I'll tell you that. You look good in your clothes. Well, thank you. I, I worked really hard. How do, you, how do you throw up? Do you stick your fingers I stick my down? finger down my throat, buddy. Hmm. All right. Well, you're angry with him. Like no, no, I'm not angry with him. I just think like that I think that he's despicable and and loathsome and uh, and a little bit vile. All right. Well, well I'm going to give you picture I paint. Vile equals vile. So. All right. You seem to like that, Jeff. When women uh, uh, accuse you of being vile. Maybe it's the the like I gross them out. It's like I get I, I'm deriving some type of satisfaction that uh, like I so disgust them that like I could be their their personal vomit therapist to doing. Jeff, are you going to keep your clothes on? I don't understand. You uh, want to be vomited on in your clothes? I, 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 I'll take off. I'll take off my uh, my t my uh, American flag. I'll I would think so. Flag. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's get it on. May, may I just say Could though that I have a girlfriend. I want to get it over with. I, that I have a girlfriend for six years. Her name is Gloria. She knows about my fetish. No, she does. She doesn't throw up on me. She thinks it's disgusting too. All right. But I could I could be involved in a relationship. That doesn't, re, um, you know, have right. a puking in it, but I All crave right. and desire. Lay down on the floor and receive your vomit. Okay. All right, here we go. This is Jeff's dream. I've, I've, I've entertained all forms of erotic behavior, but this is the most repulsive and disgusting. Now, uh, Jessica, how have you prepared for this? Did you eat a lot of food? or? Uh... Um, I ate several different kinds of food. I ate very colorful food. Um, I ate some ricotta cheese to bind it all together. I've got to tell you, this disgusts me. I don't know that I can it's watch. Just, it is, but you know, you know I, I would like me? to dedicate this to all bulimic women in the throughout the country, by the way. And by the way, <laughs> all the files. can I say something? It's very nice you're making his fantasy come true. Yes, it is. Jeff is laying on his back on the floor. Jessica is over him now. But before you do it, Jeff, you moan during this don't you it uh, turns you on so much i i don't uh, you want to hear me moan or I, I don't want you to inhibit yourself um, shall i be um, shall i just be natural and just try to uh, it would help our audience it. to understand what is going on i just have to say I, oh my well, a metaphilia is a bona fide uh, fet uh, fetish, and there's some form of sexuality. Can you, I'm gonna make Can you be quiet and let her do her thing? dying day, I'm going to maintain that because I've been into this 32 years, and I think it maybe there are more guys who are into it I than girls. They have like many videos. They have certain websites. Bob I only online wish your born. I wish your head, your fetish, was chopping your head off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't mean to sicken or repulse. All right, this stop is America, and, and I'm just telling it. you the real truth of how All right, I get feel. into it. Hey, okay. Right, do you know that Baba Bowie is uh, he's uh, boycotting this segment? No, he, get him in here. He will not be any any part of it. Why Baba should Bowie, Gary Delabody yeah, be disgusted up. by me? I, I I maybe I guess people just don't understand where I'm. Coming. Gary won't come in. Like won't come in. I would, like, I would like to add one thing. I was actually had sardines in so this these. whole uh, scenario, but I just I, I was rushed out, so I I didn't get a chance to eat them. So you're Ladies lucky I'm not swallowing sardines. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you are about to witness. A fetish so repulsive and vile it is very rarely spoken of. I have one more mm. question now. Is Gary afraid that he the might throw up? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And would Jeff uh, appreciate it if a man threw up on him? Would you like a man throwing up on you? No, I am not. I maintain not I am not bisexual. Not weird. I am heterosexual. I like watching pretty girls in the act of of. Well, of this vomiting. is a pretty girl. You have to admit. Yes, yeah, she's a pretty pretty girl. Uh, I have my girlfriend, though. I have a girl. I have a girlfriend. I'm actually I'm actually a huge fan of yours, and I've had like multiple sexual fans about you. Really? Well. Thank you. I have. Yes. This is called Roman they Roman showers. The Roman the Romans did it. Roman <laughs> showers, <laughs> rainbow showers. I can't. Wait. I hope you vomit into his mouth so he shuts up. <laughs> I, I was wondering that. Like, is he is he gonna? If he opens his mouth, then I'm gonna smack him. I think in the face. Yeah, throw up on his face. No. <laughs> like that's really sick. Hey, I, Mike, I, you're on the air. The yeah, sicker, the more erotic, the more. Intense. All right, please, Jeff. I'm taking a phone call. Yes. Why don't this freak Jeff take it to the next level and like eat her chunks? Oh. Would you eat her chunks, Jeff? Would I eat her chunks? 
No, no, I never said I'm a yeah. vomit eater. Thank you for repeating the question, Jim. Would I eat her chunks? All right, he's thinking about I'm, I'm it. Just a, a voyeuristic vomit. Where is lover. Baba Booey? I want him to throw up. Please <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh, come on in, man. Come on, come on. We all. It's fun. Well, it's fun. Don't look, but come it's in. It's fun. It's fun. Isn't it fun? I, I, I think it's fun. <laughs> you must enjoy vomiting. You must enjoy uh, vomiting. You. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm just glad Casey's here because uh, I've got the stuff so many. This Howard Stern told, told me about him. <laughs> Some interesting information for him. Who? Casey. Miss Howard Stern. Oh. What'd she say? She broke down on Val. She said she didn't say Valentine's Day. She said Valentine's Day. Hmm. It's Happy Valentine's Day. I saw her at Iggy's, and uh, she's like, "I'm like, she's like, how's your Valentine's Day going?" I'm like, "Great." I'm like, "How's yours?" She's like, "It's terrible because Casey doesn't want me." Oh, she started really? crying and ran off. <laughs> yeah, and there you go. How? Did, yeah, I should have dated her, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I would have. No, we didn't say dated. All right, Gary, you ready? May, may I just ready? say? May I just say that when I've had sessions, you know, one on one, would you shut up? <laughs> Sean! 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 All right, here we go. Jeff Levy, who enjoys being retched on. Yes. This is the beautiful Jessica. I don't even think she's plugging anything. Are you plugging anything? Not really. Just the bar I work at if you want to come see me. Where's that? I work at the Village Idiot on 14th and 9th. I work at uh, the Patriot on Chambers and Church. All right. Howard, could I just plug two things? Uh, (laughs) All right. uh, Vomit Online is where I go to get my... uh, It's a website, bona fide. And HowardShrine.com is uh, where you can find this, the All life right. story. Now it's they... time for you to enjoy. This is what you wanted, so I imagine you're. A yes. lot, uh, you're I see you turned on. Well, you know that I've called. I've called in so many times. I've called in so many times, and I've been. I've been all right, persist- all right. Here He's we go. He's pitching a tent now. Yeah, are you, you're, uh, you're turned on, aren't you? He is. Well, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here, and I'm going to be watching this very carefully. Throw up on his eyes. Here we go. It's about to happen. Oh my! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. that's enough. It looks kind of sardine. It looks kind of sardine. Stop! It looks kind of sardine. All right, stop! 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 It looks kind of sardine. Stop! Oh my God! Do you want me to help you vomit some more? All right, it's enough. Oh, my God. Stop. You can feel sick and you let it out. Hold on, hold on. Let it... No, stop. Uh, okay. I just spit in his face real quick. Oh, <laughs> He likes no. that. Uh, yeah, that was uh, pretty uh, good. I, I can't uh, imagine, though, it'd be like if you were sitting on a toilet, it's like it did, oh, like a mid Jeff, Jeff, it's, 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 it's all over you. you. Uh, yeah. Do you see me touching it? Oh, I'm going to be sick. It was, yes. <laughs> it smells so bad. How you doing, Baba Boy? It was no, close. It, it, it was it's, so close it's for foul. me. It's foul. It's true. All right, really get him out of here. Uh, I, I seem to be I able to tolerate it. it. <laughs> it kind of smells in here. Oh. Bye, Jeff. Get it's, a towel on. We get I have a towel. Yeah, I, uh, I'm about towel. to lose it. Wow. Are you feeling yeah. nice? it out some more? If you're feeling oh, more. No, no, no more. No more. No, no more. Hey, hey, hey. We can't stop <laughs> you, you leveled me. <laughs> that is the worst thing I ever saw. Oh. Puke. They're all going to puke. Howard, this is, I really wanted to meet you, but this is not oh, the way I wanted to. Oh, oh. <laughs> she really, she really but delivered. I'm glad I did it now. You really? He can I say something? It. I'm I not looking. I hope, he, I hope he marinates in that puke. Can I? Can, can get the, what are you saying, Jeff? Roman shower. Lukewarm Roman showers. You got to admit that was what you wanted. I, I, yeah, well, yeah, that's what I've looked for all, all my all my life. You know, that's what I. This is what Roman showers is. All right, by the way, let me say to in front of all right, let me, all right, let me all right, say right, to right, Jessica, right. Jessica, Jessica. First of all, you definitely delivered the goods more than anybody's ever done. Anybody? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'm not looking only I because that an honor in some warped way. <laughs> I'm not looking because I don't want to throw up. And I guess, I guess, like unlike anybody else, I seem to tolerate the smell. I have it's a tolerance for the smell, and I seem to, I, I seem to like to, uh, I enjoy it. Can I uh, wrap this up? <laughs> just say leave, Casey. Get right, him out of Casey. here, Casey. But you gotta come. I mean, he's Jessica, drip. thank you. you gotta I want to. I want to give a shout out to my friend Gloria oh, and Sally. They're the there, my, my, my fan club. If I could also give a shout out to my cousin Sarah and my sister Erica. All right, I need to take a break. And really? people that I love. Two proud uh, people uh, should be proud of Eddie. Okay, I appreciate the uh, the effort. It was a good, a very <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah the thank effort. You. Thank you, Shall Jessica, I... and thank you. And I'm, I'm not yeah. thanking Shall you. I lie here? <laughs> Let's go. No, oh, get no. out. <laughs> Wrap them up and so. Oh, really? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fire! Oh man. Richie, you all right? 
<laughs> Richie for me is freaking out. <sighs> Wipe yourself down, Jeff. Oh, oh, it's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you're ruining those shorts. <laughs> yeah, where are you going to get another <laughs> pair like that? Oof. Oh, my God. I have my own, too. Go, go. Goodbye. I'm, 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 oh, look at that towel. Oh. 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 Keep him away from the donuts. Casey. Casey. Oh. Casey. Casey. Get it all out of here. What? Dude, it smells so Get bad. Get that towel out of here. Get it out. I, 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 almost, I, I almost lost it. I almost... <laughs> And usually, usually I'm I'm fine with this stuff. But I don't know why today? Get it like it smelled pure... so bad. It was all over his back, and it was. Oh. Uh, it smelled. Do you smell it? Yeah. yeah. Let's, let's get some I want to get it. Team in here to. Do... Uh, I, I guess. All right. That's the last time we're doing that. Really. We should do it outside from now on, yeah. on the street. Yeah. In a dump. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the city would be into that. <laughs> oh. oh Jesus. All right. I'll, oh. I'll guess I'll help him. Brian, what are we gonna do with that? Somebody get some what? plastic, something. Go. It's just got to get out of here. Oh. The crime scene. The crime scene. CSI. Like a crime scene. Oh. That was a bad idea. Oh. Yeah, Ralph. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't even know. I, I can't imagine seeing that. I'm about to throw up here. You know, you really should be taken off the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this was over the line. I think Jeff's funny, you know, like when he starts talking yeah, about Yeah, talking is yeah. one thing. But then when they do it, it gets gross. But you know what? This is why Social Security needs to be reformed. Right. right. He's collecting. 700 Yeah, he's month. got all day to think about that. <laughs> he pays people for this? Yeah. 200-something oh. bucks. 220. That's why I'm glad he plays the lottery. At least most of the money comes back to the state. Can, can you even... Can you even fathom how this this turns him on? It, well, like, he was aroused, too. Oh, yeah. Oh. Dude, I'm telling you, I saw. I'm worn out. <laughs> he was aroused before it happened. I know. Yeah, just thinking about it. I have to go home now. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Rachel, yes. Yes, Hello? Ra yes, Rachel. Oh, my God. I don't know what's freaking me out worse, his voice and how calm he is, or just the entire act. I'm, I'm about to vomit. Oh. It's well, get gross. over here. Get over here. We need you. Yeah, yeah Jeff, <laughs> coming back. No, no, no. I will never. I can't, how could she be so calm? How, ew. <laughs> I'm sick. Oh, man. Yeah. Just think, six cities didn't get to hear that. Yeah. yeah. You know, they were robbed. Exactly. <laughs> can't believe it. What's our gain is Rochester's loss. Yes, Wendy the retard. Oh. Wendy? Hello? What happened? Mizzou? Mizzou, you there? What happened? Hey, Howard, your lunch is here. Ah. <laughs> yeah, please bring it over. Thank you. Tasty. <laughs> that, that'll be happening. <laughs> yes, Mizzou? Hey, I was laughing my butt off. I, I threw up, too. I don't believe you. Just listening to that was unbelievable. Are we going to see that on E? Yeah. Is uh, that be on e? I'll throw up again. They're saying it might be a primetime special. <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. This is uh, Martin. Yeah, Howard. Hey, I'm in Pittsburgh, man. The Sox ain't took you off the air, man. You I might, you might, you might want to rethink that after the last segment. <laughs> well, yeah, that was pretty disgusting, but I'm glad I got to hear it and nobody else did. Yeah. Well... Hey, I just wanted to be left on hold, man, so I could listen a couple bit more minutes of the show. All right, hold on. Thanks. That's, that's what it's come down to, be left to listen on hold. Andy, you're on the air. Andy. Andy. No, Colleen. Hey, Colleen. Colleen, calling from Pittsburgh. That was the most disgusting thing, and that's what I miss the most about you. Oh, no. Oh, Howard, that was great. Sorry you guys can't hear us. I have tears in my eyes. My stomach hurts. I was gagging. <laughs> I thought it was nasty. Oh, it was nasty. <laughs> I love you, Artie. I love you. <laughs> Dennis, you're on the air. Howard. Yeah. Oh, my God. I thought that was disgusting. <laughs> I'm sitting there laughing so hard. I, I don't know whether to just laugh or throw up or both. <laughs> don't let that guy on the show again, man. <laughs> How can I resist? Oh, my God. How can I resist? You know, we should be discussing the Patriots and their moves on the field. <laughs> I thought it was nasty. 
<laughs> it looked really bad, too. Oh, it that was, was uh, really the it, worst. It looked like oh. Manhattan clam chowder. I'll tell you what, man. That was intense. Not the well, white think, kind. You know, there were no. a couple of times I looked at it. Did she have a lot of corn? It was red. Oh, oh she was just... <laughs> that was intense. So, so Can they show uh, that on the show? Yeah. That's, in fact, <laughs> they like to show that on E. That's the Vomit Channel. It, originally, it was going to be called V, not E. Was she was thinking that? She was good at it. I'll tell you. And not, I mean, because she said she ate colorful things, so you could really <laughs> see it. After the fashion police, it, was she was thinking that. She was good at it. I'll tell you. And not, I mean, because she said she ate colorful things, so you could really <laughs> see it. After the fashion police, it's vomit. <laughs> yeah, dude, you know what fruity pebbles are? Yeah, they look like fruity pebbles. I don't want to talk about it. In orange juice, Frosty, you're on the air. <laughs> hey, Frosty. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. I just pulled over in front of a school bus full of kids and threw up in the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That was it. the most disgusting thing I ever heard in my life. All I know is that uh, Baba Booey was on a plane coming back from some appearance. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Nancy in traffic is throwing up right now. Nancy in traffic is throwing up. I don't you blame should her. be proud of yourself. I'm, I'm losing it. <laughs> I almost lost. I almost upchucked. Well, it it gets close every time he comes <laughs> in here. Did you start to feel the wave? Hey, Mark. Oh, uh, Howard, that was awesome, man. When's it going to be on E? <laughs> and was she a young, wet bitch? She was cute, I thought. Did you yeah. think she was cute? I thought she was kind of cute. She was. Oh, uh, Jeff Levy. She Put it this way. She's the Bo Derek of chicks like that. Yeah. Chicks will vomit. She's the Bo Derek of vomit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Howard, any chance of getting Nancy Sirianni on there? I don't think I so. Doubt. I doubt it. I think we're done with that whole chapter in our lives. Yes, Mike. No, oh, Mike. All right. Uh, I am I'm exhausted. That takes everything out of me. Hey, Dennis. Oh, Dennis is gone. Yes, Captain. Captain Jenks. Hey, good morning, Howard. Good morning. I, I got so sick when that happened that I ran to my front porch because I couldn't make it out upstairs. And I threw up off my front porch and I looked on the street, like coming down the street, the cars, and people were throwing up at their car windows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever heard on the show. This just in, all of Baltimore just vomited. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, what? I, that was really close for me. Yeah. And I didn't even look. I didn't know. I, I, I looked. Just, it was hearing it. Just you the looked. audio was enough. I had, I had to look. I looked too. She was well, the best. Well, I turned at a really bad moment <laughs> because she was really going when I. I turned. saw it. I think on the fourth geyser, I started to lose. Really? Yeah. Okay. I wanted her to stop. She was. <laughs> I know. She had a roll going the, there. She was letting it all go. The noises she made before it happened were disgusting. Yeah. Man. And that's why I thought it was safe to turn around. And then right. I looked and was like, oh, my God. <laughs> that was rough. It's like Niagara Falls over there. <laughs> why do we keep doing that? <laughs> because Jeff is so funny. And it's he great. keeps calling. Thank you. Because we have the right to be a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's that. That was just that's the craziest thing. <laughs> Thank God for the show. No one would believe we really because for for years before we had a television show, people used to say, "I know you don't do any of those you things. Made it up. You make it a theater of the mind." Are those people real? <laughs> yeah. He kept it real. But just imagine that's your child. Imagine a child. How disgusting! <laughs> imagine a child. You Let's decided to have a baby, and Jeff came out. I don't know. What do you think? Well, seriously, what do you think is like a turning point in a person's life that would drive him to that? I don't know. Happened very early with him. He likes to be humiliated. We understand that, but I don't know any more than that. Uh, I maintain that I am a heterosexual. I, I go could, to a dominatrix. Mm. I could sort of try to get a psychological profile going right now if you want me to. Yeah. Like I could, I could perhaps get a glimpse into what turned, but it would take me a long time. <laughs> yeah, Jerry. Hi, Jerry. You're on the air. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. You owe me seven fifty for my moots and eggs, so I can't eat them now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, yes. Jast, you're on the air. Yes, Jast. Jast is gone. Damn. Mm. Yes, Dan. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, this is Dan. Yes, Dan. Hello, hello. Uh, Howard, you are a great American. Thank you. The, you are a great and courageous American. The FCC is on the warpath. 
Clear Channel is running scared, Viacom is scared, and you are testing the limits of the First Amendment. By the way, the FCC hasn't fined me in ten years, I don't think. So, you know, that's what's even crazier about this. The woman from the Parent Teacher Association is going, or whatever that is, the Parent Television Council is going, he broke the law. He was clearly in violation. <laughs> I wasn't in violation of anything. <laughs> I, I just want to congratulate you because with, with everything that's going on, I think a lot of people would be backing down right now, cleaning up their show, trying <laughs> to save their necks, and you're going the other direction. Yeah, I'm trying to make it grosser. Well, we did clean it's up really... after that last bit. <laughs> yeah, we, we, by the way, I want to applaud the E-Crew and the ability to clean the vomit is completely out of here. You see they, yeah, they have uniforms now. They have these, like, plastic rain suits that they wear with hoods on them. Did you yeah. see what Richard was wearing? No, I don't blame him. They look like they work at a nuclear plant. <laughs> Hazmat suit. <laughs> Howard? Yes. Can I make a suggestion about the Fear Channel? Clear Channel? Yeah. This is just a suggestion here. See what you think of this. <coughs> I think that you should sue Clear Channel for defamation, and here's why. Not necessarily because you're going to win, but you will be able to have your lawyer take the deposition of Mr. Hogan and other individuals there and ask them what went into the decision to pull you off the air. I probably could sue them for defamation in that they, you know, set me up. I mean, it, it's not like I don't have a case. They certainly, I'm not going to sue them because who the hell wants to get involved in that? But to think about the case that I would have. In other words, you, you, you've you re-signed me in every one of those markets at least two or three times and you've just hired me in Pittsburgh recently. What What is it that you found offensive? And uh, by doing this, when the FCC hasn't even fined me, you set me up for failure. But having said that, they are in violation of my contract. They know what they owe me. They won't even call me on the phone. Uh, I don't know what they were up to. I don't know what was in their heads. Alex, the sue, bottom. Him, sue him for defamation. Put Whatever. That guy I'm, I, 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 listen, I, I, I'm, I'm fighting this thing on all fronts. I can't even tell you what's going on on a daily basis in my life. So uh, I'll keep you posted on anything I know. All right, we got to take a break. We're having a fun show. Yeah. But, you know, we got to take a break. Here's an interesting fact. The week we're going to Vegas. <laughs> you can contemplate... You could contemplate this during the commercial. <laughs> the week we're going to Vegas, which is the second week in May, yeah. if you'd like to join us, book early. Um, Jay Leno decided to go to Vegas. Yeah, He's I going the same week. Yeah. found that out last night at yeah. the goodbye dinner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and John funny. said, oh, we'll see you in Vegas. No, you won't. You won't see me. I got, I got I, a good I, idea. I got a great idea, Jay. Let's go to Vegas. Why don't we go to... In Vegas, and, and you know, we'll do a bet on the table. And you're funny. I hope I run into them. There might be multiple encounters on the air. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, if I was them, I'd switch dates. <laughs> Trust me. You don't want to be there when I'm there. I'll run over there with a microphone. <laughs> 